Hi and welcome to my channel. Today I'm here with a small video um, about something nice that I discovered while coloring. Although discovered, I'm sure many people will already have tried it out before me, but um, I was pleasantly surprised by using a uh, kind of color of marker um, that gave me a beautiful effect that I didn't expect. So um, this is the first picture I've uh, been working on since um, the end of August. I'm coloring very slowly on it and that's because I'm not fallen out of love with coloring but I'm um, I've picked up another hobby of mine that I did in the past already and um, I'm really enjoying that at the moment. So when I get home and I have my course done um, and we have had our dinner, um, my time goes to the other hobby instead of coloring. But I don't think it's uh, bad to have a break from uh, a hobby from time to time. Um, because when I work on this picture, I'm enjoying it more because it's coming to life slowly, more slow than, than other. Um, so, yeah. So the thing that I um, discovered, it's a, it's a big word to say, is um, using a light shade of green for a base layer. So this is a centaur guy and since it's uh, his body will be brownish um, I didn't want him to have a, um, a regular um, human skin but also not a brown one. So I decided to use a putty beige uh, marker on him and uh, go, uh, thank God I only uh, started on his ear because my marker was totally dried up although i didn't i haven't used it in the past so it was uh, it was not dry when i swatched them before uh, after i got them but um, it's just dried up so i had to switch color and i've used i'm going to grab my case for a moment i believe it's called mionet miot um, Mionet. Whoops, there goes the tripod. I'm sorry. I don't know if it will focus quite good. Uh, excuse me for my horrible nails, but I've just cleaned my bathroom and I will uh, put on a new nail polish later tonight. So that's why they are looking awful like now. So I did put down that base layer of. Um, me on it and then went over with um, four colors of Prisma color pencils and the darkest shade is Espresso followed by 30% French Grey uh, Putty Beige because that was my intention for the base layer um, at the beginning and white for highlighting and I really like how he's turning out. He becomes quite pale on his uh, around his mouth and chin, but still that light green is showing through. And I really like how they match together now. So I thought it was nice to um, share this color combo for your more fantasy-like creatures. Um, I'm, I'm really pleased with that, yeah, discovery <laughs> that an, an, an unexpected base layer um, can give a nice result. I, I, I think even that this light green is a, a more uh, suitable combo for the effect I wanted to give him than the Petit Beige um, that I was planning to use. So um, while I'm filming I can do some 
correcting uh, coloring. So like I was saying, it's uh, becoming more slowly my coloring, but I, it's, it's a hobby that I will never abandon. I love it very much, um, but I'm sure that I won't have to show 17 or 19 pictures at the end of this month. If I will have this one finished and maybe two or three others, it will be much, but yeah. And the other hobby that I am, uh, am doing is, uh, maybe it's it's stupid, but I don't care. I'm going to tell it anyway. <laughs> I'm 43 years old, but I'm playing The Sims 4. Um, and I'm enjoying it. I'm really... in. Adm I admire the, 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 the great details that they have put in that game. They, they, they move like humans. They, it's, it's, it's a very beautiful game. And I, when I was in my, um, teenage years, about 14 to 15 years old, I wrote my own stories. I took some, um, magazines, cut out some of the men and women, gave them names and they were my actors for my stories that I wrote. Um, it was always about a holiday and a, and a camping or um, a, a love story on a high school, you know how it goes. And I, I liked watching uh, Beverly Hills 109, I'm, I'm saying this wrong, 90210 I think it was called, um, uh, soap opera and, and, and I, I like those um, series because it's it's relaxing, it's 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 fun, and um, my cut out men and women were my actors. And when uh, the Sims Two came out, and I've never played Sims One, but I did play Sims Two. There was a, a forum or or a, a web page from EA, and you could make a. a a story there online and it was so much fun and I have got to know uh, a few people and I'm still in contact with one of uh, of them it's a friendship that is lasting for more than 10 years already and it's it's fantastic she was addicted to the sims 2 I became addicted and I uh, when sims 3 came out I also bought everything um, EA offered but um, Sims 4 is more um, my cup of tea now. It's it's more realistic. It's more beautiful graphic wise, um, and it's just my old time hobby um, coming back to me. Creating stories, I take pictures when I'm playing, and I'm just putting them down in a in a word document fantasy I'm making my own storyline it's it's cr being creative with my head not with my hands like coloring is and i love it i'm um yeah I, I it was always a dream of me to become a writer when i was younger but i'm not a stephen king or an agatha christie um person unfortunately so and and yeah the sims and and their little actors i will call them they provide me hours of creative fun just by imagining what is happening in the story or in the game itself. And yeah, it's, 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 I am really enjoying it. So that's why my coloring is um, a bit put aside. It's, it's super addictive. I'm too addictive to some things because when I'm fully into coloring, it's, yeah, it's also crazy. I, I really can get lost easily in, in a hobby and uh, yeah. But um, so that's what uh, I have been doing. Um, my husband still isn't at home, so I have a few minutes extra to talk because I'm still liking to film when I'm just home alone. So... Um, I don't know if one of you ever played The Sims or is still playing it. 
I'm also watching a lot of YouTube soap series and I uh, really like the videos by Adele Grissi. She's an Australian YouTuber and um, she has been making Sims um, soaps and, and tutorials and reviews for for the longest time and I really like her way of, of playing, of, of telling, of reacting to stuff and uh, yeah so I'm not only viewing color related videos now but also sims related videos and like I said uh, at first I thought oh, you're 43 it, it's a bit silly that you can get lost in in a game but yeah it is like it is and do I have to be ashamed about it I don't think so if people find it stupid that I play that game on my age yeah then that's their problem <laughs> not mine I'm enjoying it and uh, it's my life I want to enjoy the things that I want so I thought I could share it with you guys because I'm finding the coloring community very support a very supportive one um, so far <laughs> people don't judge I think it's 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 something I've experienced you there there's also so much support and help and tips and tricks and no envy or or jealousy of course you can get trolls especially when you do live streams but other than that everyone is super sweet and I'm very thankful for that I get a lot of nice comments on my videos and it's 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 so so nice so thank you very much for supporting me and and liking the things that I color um, it's it's fun to be in contact with uh, with people that watch uh, your videos. I think. So this is a bit tricky with all the little leaves here, but. So I've started to uh, to shade with the darkest color first, the espresso one, and I'm going to put on that glove because the Prisma color pencils have a. Um, they can sometimes be a bit smudgy. Most of the time, I try to color in order so that I don't have to go over uh, my picture with my hand afterwards. But now I have, I started with her first. Now I'm going. Uh, to color with a fringe gray and I'm just going over that darkest part and a bit um, further, I color a bit further in some areas it will already fill up every spot but that's okay and in the areas that aren't filled up I will use the putty beige and some white I'm really looking forward to uh, October then uh, I think I will start my Hall Halloween colorings. I was really looking forward to it for uh, the longest time. So I really have to be back then or be coloring more uh, at that time instead of playing. But I can't promise anything. As 
long as I have some imagination and, and ideas for my my soap that I'm uh, writing and I'm just writing it for myself but I think it's fun just like with coloring in your pictures when you look back at them you yeah it, it's it, it makes you happy at least it, it does with me and when I read the stuff that I wrote because I'm playing that um, soap kind of story since 2015 or 2016 and when I read back those uh, yeah, stories I just have to laugh sometimes <laughs> because uh, yeah it's <laughs> it's just yeah and you can't remember what you wrote and it's sometimes just so suitable for the the little faces they 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 give you and yeah so it's just for myself and it's yeah really really relaxing and enjoyable and uh, i bought i didn't have all the expansion packs and stuff packs and whatever and uh, and full game packs i had a few of them but not all but um, the past two weeks i think i bought everything i missed so i'm now totally up to date again This is the French grey again. I did use the Petit Beige uh, a minute ago. And I think I'm doing something wrong here with his, uh, with his um, shoulder. But I will see how I will fix that later on. I think I'm going to put some extra brown or espresso here. And then we can cover up his chest with the white and you get the, um, there's my French page here. Then you get more the, the, the look of what the white and the light green is combined. I also did the uh, same kind of uh, base layer not not a light green one but another one on a kawaii girl by jade summer um, a space girl she had an, an extraordinary um, base layer and she turned out a, a, a totally different after putting on the pencils it was it was so special And I'm really liking how this combo works on him. He has a, a beautiful face. Now I'm going in with a putty beige. It softens everything. A bit extra and now I'm going in with the white just to highlight the lightest parts of his beautiful chest And when I'm not happy with some highlights, I'll just uh, make them dark again or darker. This may be a bit darker.
and I will go over these lines with yeah some other medium not sure yet what maybe um, a metallic marker or I don't think he would like me to put some stickles on <laughs> on that but I will I will see what I'll do with that back to the French gray and it needs sharpening I think that's that's quite okay. So I will leave it at that because um, I will have to go and make our dinner soon. But I thought it was nice to just do a short video on what's been going on, what I'm doing and share a nice tip about don't being afraid of using um, a special kind of color as a base layer of course it can go wrong but that's then something we we learn but i'm really liking this uh, i think i have to use some less light colors here it's a bit too much i think on this part of his body that is better and i will straightly go in with the putty beige instead of the the white now over it with and uh, not the white the, the fringe gray i was thinking so yeah so here you go, a short video again, um, so you know that I'm still alive, still coloring, although at a slower um, pace, or I don't know how you say it uh, else. Um, but yeah, we will see how far I will be jumping in September with coloring. Uh, if it's uh, not much, then it's not much, but... At least I'm happy I'm still coloring. It was it was very weird. After a week of not coloring, I started working on her. And at first I thought I, I couldn't do it, that I lost everything that I had uh, learned already. But that wasn't the case. Uh, lucky for me. Um, she turned out even better than I thought she would. So... Um, yeah, and I will look up the uncolored picture. So these are, they are uncolored. And look at that, that, that green and that brown on his mouth and on his face. It's wow. I really like it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If, um, you also play a nice video game or even The Sims maybe. Uh, please let me know. I would really like to, to hear about it. Uh, I'm sure I'm not the only one who is creative in, in that uh, kind of way. At least I hope I'm not. Um, it has a, a big fan base, uh, EA and The Sims. So I'm sure that are, uh, there are other people out there that are doing the same thing. Um, so yeah, okay, it was nice, uh, talking to you guys. I hope you enjoyed my little tip of using an unusual color as a base layer and we will talk again soon. At least I hope it will be soon, but stay tuned. I'm definitely not going anywhere. I wish you all a pleasant uh, day or evening. Um... Have a great, uh, yeah, do something great uh, with your free time 
and uh, we'll talk soon. Bye bye. Thank you for watching.